Hey, what is up guys? Jackson here from the Toasty Bros. And today I'm going to be building a computer test workbench station thing. I don't even know what to call it yet, but it's gonna be really cool and it's going to be mainly for working on computers here at the Toasty Bros office. So now that we've recently upgraded office space and we actually have more room, we kind of were looking for a place to actually be able to really work on computers as in not just building them, but actually doing things like soldering and things like wire cutting. Basically things that we don't wanna get this really nice up desk very scratched and scuffed on. And also just for cleaning computer parts as well, I'm actually thinking about even getting a small air compressor to actually kind of attach to the table to be able to quickly dust out computer parts. So without further ado, let's go ahead and figure out where we're gonna put it and then figure out where we're gonna get all these supplies for it. So in case some of you guys haven't seen the new space, this right here is our benchmarking station. We have our little toasty arcade cabinet back there. Here is our up desk with our main background. It looks like we're recording a video right now. And here is the little portal to our other office. That's actually where we do all of our actual video editing. That's basically where all of our desks are with our computers and stuff. There's really no computers in here, as you can see. And this is actually where I'm thinking about putting this little workstation. So my idea for it is it'll be about the same height as this up desk, or at least the height we have it set to now. It'll be a little over three feet tall, which is a nice standing height because most of the things that we'll be doing on it will probably be standing. So now that you guys have seen the space at where I want to actually put the desk, basically what it's going to be is there's going to be pegboard on the back of the desk. Now keep in mind, everything that I'm doing on this is gonna be attached to the desk. I want the desk to be portable to an extent so that if we ever want to move it or move offices or whatever, we don't have anything stuck into the wall. So the pegboard that's going to be on the desk will be actually attached to the desk on the back of it. And then it's just going to be a nice, you know, stable working condition. So nice like half inch um, to maybe three quarter inch plywood, you know, some really nice thick stuff. But I got a pretty good idea in my mind of how it's going to look. We'll see if it actually looks like that. I'm sure by the thumbnail, you guys will get an idea of what it looks like. And I don't even know yet because I haven't built it, but We'll find out really soon. So let's go ahead and make a trip to, I'm thinking Lowe's. Okay, so after a whole lot of money spent on what looks like it's not a lot, but here we have the main desk surface here. So this is actually a pre-cut piece that was almost exactly what I wanted pretty much. It's about four feet long. That's what's important. We have pegboard here that's two feet high and four feet long. So that'll made up with that pretty well. This stuff right here is the backing for the pegboard. We obviously aren't going to need all of this. But you know, when it's 99 cents per piece of wood, you might as well get a little bit of extra. These are going to be our main legs right here. This is some pretty high grade two by four that's uh, treated and everything. So it's pretty strong. Uh, here we have an LED light bar that'll actually go on top of the pegboard to kind of overhang for the work area. Here's a little uh, three port extension cord that'll basically kind of get mounted somewhere along the area of the pegboard to allow this light to plug in and then also two other uh, things that you might need plugged in. Kind of went a little overboard and got this here. So this is a quiet air compressor. If you guys have never seen or heard one of these, we actually have a review of one on the channel that I did a while back, but quiet air compressors are really awesome. This one's supposed to be a really, really good one. It's super expensive though. It's like a hundred and like $47 for just a one gallon compressor. Um, this kind of, I mean, it fits us perfectly because we don't need anything big. We need something small that just has a decent amount of PSI, which we have 135. So that'd be plenty for blowing dust out of things and doing some small other things on the side. Here we have a part storage bin that's wall mountable. So that'll go probably on the back of the pegboard for basically cubby storage. You can put your labels and everything, you know, thermal paste, some screws, whatever else we could possibly want. Um, a little handsaw because I decided there was only like two or three things that we really need to cut. So instead of going home and doing them, we're just gonna do them here with a cheap wooden handsaw. Here's a pegboard assortment. This will go on the back of the pegboard. Sorry about the focus there. Uh, drill bit kit to be able to do some drilling and whatnot. And yeah, I mean, pretty much have everything we need here. Hopefully I didn't forget anything because by now these stores are probably closed. So let's go ahead and start building this.
All right, guys, so we have the desk totally built and it's looking real nice. What do you think, Zach? Zach's right back there just hiding behind the camera, but he says thumbs up. <laughs> so I got my bro, Zach, here, and he's gonna model some, some stuff for you guys. But you can see here we got the bin assortment, which we actually have more bins if we wanna put more up, but we kinda figured this is pretty good for now. We have this nice screw assortment right here, as you can see with everything conveniently labeled. Yeah, look at that. All of our convenience screws that we use for computer building. And then, oh my gosh, there's dust back here. Hold up. It just so happens. It just so happens. <laughs> yeah, so we also have this very quiet air compressor, which I'm gonna go ahead and, I don't even know if it's turned on. It might be, nope, it's not. So this is how quiet this air compressor is. We're actually still able to talk and hear perfectly fine. It fills up really quick up to 135 psi so really good for blowing dust out of computer parts which we really need for an upcoming video and also we have a lot of pegboard with a lot of extra space already you can see we have things like zip ties hung up where we have multiples and then we have just some other random tools right now it's very underwhelming because we have more stuff but we have not put it up yet this is an led light that's supposed to actually go under like a countertop and as you can see this has a button to turn it on and off and all of our screw drivers are on the side here mounted. We have an outlet over here with one extra. We have a saw that Zach really wants you guys to see how sharp it is, yeah. Get out of the camera. So as always, we hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and we will see you guys in the next one. Hopefully we'll be using this in some upcoming videos.